So Jira is the place where work lives, but often we want to receive our Jira updates elsewhere. Uh, might be Slack or Microsoft Teams or email, whatever it might be. This rule solves that problem for you. So what we're going to do is surface any issues that are still open in the sprint, and we're going to then send a Slack message to the channel every day or every week, whatever you like, just with those bullet pointed hyperlinked issues still open in the sprint. Really nice way to keep your finger on the pulse. So I'm going to show you this rule via the automation playground, the template library, which I've included a link to beneath this video if you're not watching it already from the library. And what we'll do is I'll just go in here and we'll create the rule. So let's scroll down a wee bit. That's nice and clear. So this rule kicks off with the schedule trigger. So I'll just go in there and find it. And we can say that we want it to run you know, every 7 a.m., every second Tuesday using cron, but we're going to keep it really simple here and just say, hey, run every day and let us know what's going on. Now, this is where the magic happens. We go straight to our lookup issues action. This is our newest feature, probably our fastest growing as well. And we click on in here. So what the lookup issues action allows you to do is to, using JQL, go in and search for any issues that you want to in Jira. And then later on, we'll surface them with another action. So it could be, um, hey, I want to look for any issues that have a medium priority, which is not super exciting. Um, for me, I've actually got some uh, code that I Oh, some JQL I saved earlier on. So this just means that we're looking for any issues that are still open in the sprint, i.e. they're not marked as done. So I'll save that. You can validate it as well. I know the zero because it's just a test uh, instance here, but I'll save that. And now we have the chance to add another action. So where do we want to surface all of this information? Could be email, could be Microsoft Teams, um, could be a Twilio SMS, but we're going to go with Slack for now because that's what we use internally. Um, so if you already have a Slack uh, webhook set up, you won't have to do this every time. Um, but if you do, you just have to do this once off. So again, I've just got a sample webhook here just to connect your Slack with your Jira. And again, the message here is important because we need to use some smart values. Uh, again, if smart values are new to you, don't be scared by what you see in a moment. All you have to do is copy and paste them from uh, either our automation template library or from our docs. It's quite simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So this is the smart values that we are going to use. We've got lookup issues. So that's just saying, okay, check out. We've got this action up here. We're looking out for that. We've got this that says we want them bullet pointed and this that says we want everything to be a hyperlink as well. And that's it. So it just means in Slack, we'll get a bullet pointed list of hyperlinked URLs that are still open in the sprint, um, all those issues. So last, we'll pop this into our automation channel and we'll save. We give the rule a name and Bob's your uncle, you're done. Hope you enjoy it.